Hey guys, Jivin here. So in today's video, I want to show you guys a very easy way to tame your Asian hair. Enjoy. Hope you guys are having a fantastic day. If you like what you see, be sure to smash that subscribe button and turn on post notifications to never miss a brand new video again. So this is how I look right after the shower. And as you can see, everything is just sticking out. So the left side is sticking out, the right side is sticking out, my top hair is sticking out. The only thing that's not sticking out right now is the back of my hair. For the back of my hair, instead of sticking out, it kind of sticks like that. Yeah, I don't know if you can see. So over here, and over here. It doesn't really look nice, but yeah, this is all part of the growing out phase. For some of us, our hair follicles and density make it in a way that it doesn't really grow downwards unless it grows long enough that gravity pulls it down. So if you've been looking online to see what methods you can do to push your side hair down, uh, obviously you can do a down perm, which is basically perming your hair downwards, so naturally it will fall downwards. But this method only lasts a few months and after that, you would have to do it again. But the method I'll show you today is extremely easy and everyone have it, which is basically just a cap. I'm gonna wear my cap for 10 minutes and then you can see the difference between what I look like right now and what I look like in 10 minutes. So right now I'm gonna take a quick screenshot of my video so I can do like a before and after. Let's see. Yeah, I think I'll just do it on this white background over here, so. Da, da, da. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Everything's sticking up like an afro. Yeah, just a quick close up of what it looks like. Yeah, even this sideburns here is sticking up, so. Yeah, what can you do? All right, so after the photo's done, I'm gonna wear my cap now. And yeah, just a quick note. I'll just show you how it looks like with a cap and without a cap. So right now, without a cap, and once I push my hair down, you can see everything just sorts of go downwards, even on this, this side over here. So right now it's up. Once I wear the cap, you can see how the cap sort of pushes everything down. So everything is facing downwards right now on both sides. Over here, over here. So yeah, I'll check back in 10 minutes. Another thing you guys can do if you want to speed up this process is to use a blow dryer and blow dry your hair downwards like this. So right now wearing a cap, you can just press it down on both sides and use a blow dryer to just kind of like, you know, dry it downwards. Now a downside to this method is you guys have to do it every single day. So after you shower, your hair will go back to the same way it was before. So while this is a long-term solution, it's a long-term solution that you guys have to do every single day. All right guys, so it's been 10 minutes. I'm gonna show you guys how my hair looks like after this time. So over this last 10 minutes, I haven't done anything to my hair other than wearing this cap. And occasionally just like rubbing it like this. I've also switched the position, so pressing it this way as well. You know, anything just to press the hair downwards. Yep. Okay, I guess I'll show you guys. So yeah, this is how it looks like. Yeah, I don't know if it's a big change, but obviously you can see there's a difference. 
immediately you can notice that my side hair here is a bit pushed down now as well as the top hair is more flat and I'll just do a thumbnail like here so I can show you the before and after And obviously, I only did this for 10 minutes, but if you do it the entire day, like I usually do, every time I go out, I wear my cap. When I come back and take my cap off, everything is pretty much pressed to my scalp. And this basically solves your stiff Asian hair problem. So like I said before, you can use a blow dryer to blow dry your hair downwards. And even after this, after 10 minutes, let's say you're tight on time, just rubbing a little bit of hair products like wax or gel like this, and then using some hairspray to spray it. So by doing that, it could also last the entire day as well. But if you're someone who's not into using hair products that much while growing your hair out, you can just use a cap, you know? Because wearing a cap is like everyone does it. Everyone has it at home. So it's something that's not like weird if you guys wear it outside. And you don't have to wear a cap to do this method. You can also use a headband. Yeah, I don't have a headband around me right now, but it's basically this absorbent fabric that goes like wraps around your head from the forehead all the way to the back of your head. And let's say you're doing a sport like tennis or badminton, it keeps the sweat out of your forehead and your eyes. But for taming Asian hair purpose, it would work just the same as a cap because what you want is something that will push your hair to your scalp and you know, just press it down. All right, so I can quickly show you what a headband looks like over here. So any of this will work perfectly. Something like this, you know, you can go out like this. If this is a hairstyle you want, something like this will work as well. Yeah, many different options in style and color for a headband. Even a bandana will work as well, so let's see. Yeah, so if you're not comfortable or you don't want to go out wearing a cap, you can also wear a bandana. Over here, you can see my budget-friendly camera setup. So over here is where I put my iPhone and record my face like this. I find it's best when I use the natural sunlight from outdoors. And this is just a Funko Pop. Some Funko Pops I have, you know, some of the clone troopers. Just a quick overview to show you guys. And a 2D Pokemon cube that I made. I collect some Funko Pops. I have more in the back over here. I have also more in the closet over there. <laughs> so over here is the child from Mandalorian Star Wars. And I'm sure not all of you guys might be interested in Star Wars Funko Pops, but collecting these are just one of my hobbies and I can show you some of the new ones I got. Some of these are the 40th anniversary Star Wars Funko Pops. So there's Luke Skywalker, Han Solo and Carbonite, Princess Leia and R2-D2. So the detail here is some dirt on it compared to the R2-D2 that I have over here. Yeah, slight difference. Yeah, anyway, some of the Funko Pops, I like Coraline as well as Racket Ralph. I know I'm a geek, but what can I say? So yeah, that's basically my method on pushing down your Asian hair. To recap, this method works best after you take a shower because your hair is still a little bit damp. If you don't want to take a shower, you can simply just wet your hand with some water, you know, rub it down like this, and then quickly wear a cap. And what you want to achieve is that you want your hair to dry facing downwards. When your hair is a little bit damp and you wear a cap right away, it dries more downwards than outwards. And a few methods that you can use to ensure your hair is staying down longer is to use a blow dryer and then use some hair products and then hairspray. But in this video, I'm just showing you guys a natural process that does not involve any hair products or anything, just a cap. So let's say you don't have much time in the morning to get ready to go out. This is such an easy way to just, you know, quickly wear a cap 10 minutes in the morning while you eat breakfast. Then your hair won't look like an afro. So now I just went out with my parents for a quick walk, soak in some vitamin D from the sun as well as breathe in some fresh air. And also, you know, look at some beautiful scenery. And the entire time, I made sure to wear my cap. As you can see, my hair is slowly sticking to my scalp. It doesn't stick out as much anymore. So yeah guys, I definitely recommend you to go out and you know, just take a walk. If you're staying home all day, it's not good for your mental health. So just take some time and get some exercise in. I try to walk at least five to 10,000 steps a day. But yeah, that's just a rough guideline for me. So after just a few hours of going outside with my cap on, my hair is pretty much not sticking up anymore. I guess the sweat made it stick to my side even longer. So success. So yeah, I hope this video helps you in some way. If you like this video, let me know down in the comments below and check back next time.
。我听见你的声音，有种特别的感觉，让我不断想。不敢再忘记你，我记得有一个人